It is an effort to help you take more control of your health and health care. Next month, an area community is holding two workshops. And joining us today are Sue Gard. She is the owner of Confident Conversations. And also we are joined by Alan Lukashevsky, who is the director of pharmacy at Oakwood Village and also works with sales. So thank you so much for both for being here. Um, we're going to focus on two different topics because there are two different workshops. Alan, yours is looking at and kind of navigating this world of medication. And I saw a recent study that shows 20% of older Americans uh, are hospitalized due to misuse of medications. So what are people needing to know about preventing this? Well, people need to know various risk factors so they can basically understand where are the areas of risk so they can maybe have a conversation with their pharmacist or their physician to help alter those areas of risk. What, what are the big adverse effects we're talking about that, that show people that they need to take this seriously? Well, first of all, the, the more serious adverse effects that occur could be severe low blood sugar in someone taking a diabetes medication and perhaps they're not monitoring. Maybe it's from a drug interaction that caused that. Mm -hmm. uh, it could also be where we have our potassium or sodium levels altered from medications. And again, that could be a drug interaction. All those are very predictable types of adverse drug events and unintended effect from a drug that causes harm. We could also experience falls, for example. Now on the other side of it that's also very important is that older adults could also experience what are called geriatric syndromes. And we tend to excuse these for normal aging, such as memory loss, uh, urinary incontinence, insomnia, depression, and so forth. And, and since we tend to assume those as a normal part of aging, we tend to not understand that many medications can cause these. So that's a different type of adverse event. So usually what I try to do is educate older adults and caregivers about the areas of risk, how they need to be more engaged with their physician mm -hmm. in order to understand what to monitor. And Sue, this obviously explanation illustrates that it's a complex world for people. So what is your best advice in helping somebody prepare for that conversation with their doctor or nurse? One of the things that I suggest is that, uh, th that we thoughtfully plan for the visit. And so that means identifying the concerns, the questions, but putting them in priority order. Mm -hmm. And uh, most physicians can only take one or two, maybe three tops of questions in a visit. There may be others, but then put those lower on the list and then tell the physician, I have more questions when can we set up a time to talk about those? Or could I talk with your nurse about those? But to plan for only addressing the top two priority items. In your workshop, you will be helping people build the confidence to do this? Absolutely. Role playing and, and sample conversations and working through all, uh, how you can actually have that practical, realistic conversation in a very time-limited visit. Okay, I want to let everybody know these two workshops are being held at the Stoughton Senior Center. The first one, Talking Turkey with Your Doctor, will be Tuesday, October 4th. Both are from 5.30 to 7. Then the following week on the 11th will be the Straight Dope on Medications with Alan. So we want to encourage all of you to take a look at those and make sure you register in advance. We will have more information on our web channel, NBC15.com. Thank you both so much. You're welcome. We will be right back with the final look at your forecast after this.